is okay. America's the Cowboys, America's <laughs> team. But the Cowboys is also a symbol of um like Cowboys and Indian type shit. The good people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So and they always would pay the Redskins. And it was a and it was a thing. It was a thing. And I wasn't I was a Redskins fan because of Doug Williams. Yeah, okay. shout out, shout out. Yeah, that Grambling. was Grambling. Y'all Grambling, that's right. Grambling. That's right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Well, I want to know, because, you know, since I came here, I'm just getting into this football thing, right? Because, you know, Jamaica's it's football is a soccer. Why is the Cowboys known as the America's team? It is what it is. Because they was um, the team that was on TV the most. So that's they, why they, they was they was played on TV the most, and that's why he is so they, detailed. They, they was no, because nobody could ever tell no, me. No, he, he explained so it. They they was on TV all the goddamn. So that's the only reason. That's why. the only reason. The Americans team. It's not like because they was winning a bunch of shit. So at, the, at the time, at the time they was on TV. All the time they was getting ass whooped then too, with by the Pittsburgh Steelers and all type of people. But that's that's why they known as America's team. They had they had more TV time than anybody, and I think a, a um. A, ca a, a, a caster said it first, and it just stuck. It's okay. America's the Cowboys, America's <laughs> team. But the Cowboys is also a symbol of, um, like Cowboys and Indian type shit. The good people, mm. you know what I'm saying? So, and they always would pay the Redskins, and it was a and it was a thing. It was a thing, and I wasn't. I was a Redskins fan because of Doug Williams. Yeah, okay. shout out, shout out. Yeah, that Grambling. Was, Grambling. Know that's right. Grambling. That's right. That's right. That's all day that's long. Right. He, man, then they and they doing bad too. They don't never. And he broke all the records. In, yeah. in the Super Bowl, they don't never really talk about Doug. I love. They're Doug, not gonna talk about he stay, Doug. He stay in Tampa. Wow. Man, that was one of the moments in my career. I was good because Tampa in their improv, they have an elevator that you have to catch, right? So, and they and it's seating upstairs. Yeah. So I'm coming down, coming downstairs to get to the elevator, and I'm. Walking to the elevator, and I walk by this dude. I just see big black dude, like Hawaiian shirt on. I said, I know he old school. He got a, a shirt with flowers on it. That's what we do as you get old. Niggas start putting flowers on their shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can't wait for a flower, a floral shirt. When we got on. And That's real. Got on, got on. I got 17 though. <laughs> flowers, you know, real quick. But I'm walking by. I'm like, I said, once again, I'm on that Walter. I said, I told him, I said, he said. Man, it's like, I think so. I'm about to get on the elevator. Everybody car came. I said, like, Doug, because he had the show. Yeah. I said, hey, man. Hey, man, I know who you are. You Doug Williams. He's like, man, what's up, man? I said, bro, I'm just finna warn you. I'm about to go on this stage, and I'm about to lose my motherfucking mind. Go right down and say, them people, come and say, how lazy it is. I get around and say, fuck me. Do y'all know Doug Williams is in there? <laughs> he, right he right there. <laughs> Doug Williams. That's hard, man. No, no, we gotta show love, man. Doug Williams, man, that's real. That's real. I, I, I've lost my mind doing. Like I'm in, um, I'm in Vegas. I'm, um, Soul Train, doing the Soul Train Awards. I'm doing this show, Bill Bellamy, and um. Who was it? It's a bunch of people on that. What's my man? Yeah, How, Bellamy. Hollywood Shuffle. Um, Robert Townsend. Okay. They, they honor Robert Rob, Townsend. Yeah, Robert. A bunch of us. So I'm out there, I'm performing, and I look out, and it, like, man, I'm rolling, and it me up. I look out, and I see Mario Van Peoples. <laughs> and I, I almost said it. Look, wow. I'm talking, and I almost said it. I was like, what you doing here? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like random, like, like I'm not in front of all these people. What you like, saying? You know, like, then I said, then I said talk about like, yeah, boy, I'm just like, man, I, That's I, get, hard, I man. get it. I'm still as as rugged as I am. I'm still a gentle, bro. I'm still a kid. Yeah, when yeah, it comes yeah. To, bro, Russell Peters, right? We in we in um Canada, and we at Montreal. We in Montreal. And we there's a big comedy convention. Kevin is over here, and I'm walking by. Kevin like, yo, Lee, come over here, come over. Here. And I'm like, come over there. And Lorel was over there, and I'm not, I'm not coming to neither one of these sections. And Sid was over here. I spoke to Sid. 
I moved over here and I can't remember who said, hey, Russell Peters about to come through there. I want to introduce you to Russell Peters. I said, oh, okay. So Russell Peters come in. Bro, I lose all my motherfucking cool. I'm talking about everything that was cool about me. That was out the goddamn window. Russell Peters walks in with Melly Mel. <laughs> <laughs> I am done. I don't give Melly a fuck Mayo. about me no fucking Russell Peters. That, when they came in, he said, hey, man, it's Russell Peters. And I went right to this Melly Mayo. I said, nigga, and you are Melly Mayo, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I said the greatest nigga. You are part of the greatest rap song of all that's time. Real. Nigga, that's the real. message. You, damn you understand right. that you and I keep it. I'm holding it in Melly Mel. Yeah, I'm, big I'm holding it. Big, big, you Melly Mel. I'm losing my shit. That's it's hard. Like, it's like I've said some of the most awful shit to the positive niggas. I'm coming out the bathroom in Miami. Biz Marquis DJing. I'm coming out the bathroom. IP man. <laughs> I come out the bathroom, right? And it's a step to come in and come out. So I'm stepping down, and me and this nigga just happened to be part to of the he, He's coming this way. I'm coming. In, I lock all this. Nigga. I said, "Hey, nigga, you the realest nigga." I'm talking the most deaf. I'm saying, nigga, "Why?" I'm talking the most deaf. I mean, the realest nigga. <laughs> I said, "Man, Ali, what's wrong?" She told me I haven't been overseas. I'm in London, right? I'm in London. I'm going to this one piece of shop. The whole time. It's a halal pizza in there. I'm going in there the whole time. I walk in, and these dudes looking at me, and I'm looking at them like, niggas looking at me. <laughs> 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 I'm like, niggas looking at me weird. I'm like, these niggas looking at me. I said, like, what are these niggas looking at me? And these niggas looking at me like this. And they say, Ali? I said, what's up? He said, De La Soul. You know? I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, nigga, what's up? Like, he said, nah, such a thing, nigga. He would have came over. I'm like, oh. That's I'm like, old. But I'm like, man, I've been, I used to run a record pool. So I've yeah. been in the, in the industry for You've a been long. watching them, them artists but, for sure, but you don't know. But you don't I, think you're going to meet these people went back oh, when you're doing that, oh, you know? Bro, greatest, you talking about greatest phone call? Greatest phone call all time. Scarface called me Brad. Yeah, Brad Jordan. Brad called. Hey, man, this is right after the Grammys, right? He called. I said, what's up? He said, um, hey, man, meth want to holler at you. Oh, that's hard. And I said, hey, bro, don't call my guy phone talking about no drugs. You know, I'm a real, <laughs> I'm a real drug dealer. Not like you old, you uh, rap. I was really in them streets, nigga. <laughs> nigga, Fed still got my phone tapped. Yeah. Come on. Method man, nigga. <laughs> I, said, I said, come with that bullshit. I said, Hold on, nigga. Merge that nigga in. This nigga man say, bro, I just watched your stand up, man. It's the best shit I've ever seen in my life. I said, God, I, 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 I done put the phone down, nigga. I just got the phone, speak the phone. I said, nigga, that ain't him. <laughs> I'm listening to this nigga voice, trying to listen to the radio. And say, <laughs> <laughs> and nigga, and so, that nigga hard, so, man. That's a hard nigga, man. That Oh, they gonna so, rap, bro. Gave me his number. Now I'm gonna show you something that I got the other day on Instagram. And bro, I and That's this, hard, and this bro. shit that like this that is iconic, bro. That I don't really be into this shit. But then when something happened out of nowhere, I'm like, no. Nah. I'm gonna just show it to you. I'm gonna show it to you. Nigga, this is. This is a move. I know I un unprovoked. Just that's what that nigga takes me. I just went in my thing, and I said, and I just and I said at first you I know just who that looking. is. I'm just looking. I'm Chris just, Brown. I'm just looking. Look at him show that love, man. I'm no, but you like, dope, bro. I'm just like this thing, and then I push on that. I said, I call. I said, nigga, Chris Brown. Then rock with you man cause you one of them ones like man that like I said man when you see something that's real man you want you want to get close to it you know how that fire would amaze a nigga just a blaze you looking at that old but you know it's too hot to touch you know what I'm saying and niggas is mesmerized when something is good they want to get close to it and that's what that's what your comedy bring you know what I'm saying like 
Love that, bro. But I love the fact that people are giving flowers. They flow, and I that's love something that need to be because done, Because then man. it motivates you and keep you pushing. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.